Hi everybody out there on the uh, Onefinity Facebook group. Uh, this video is going to be a proof of concept for bit setter tool change. Um, a little bit different than how you do a carbide one, but uh, nonetheless seems to work. So let's give it a go. Uh, I've got XYZ uh, probed off here. Uh, just a little simple test cut. And we'll fire it up and show you what happens. <laughs> Okay, so that's the first stage of the tool change. Uh, it's moved it all the way over to the bottom right corner, uh, away from the workpiece. And it's now paused. It's asking me to wait for the spindle to stop and attach the probe. So let's do that. Probe on. Continue clicked. So it's going to seek down, find that probe again. Uh, it's a little bit slow, but uh, it's suggested that this is kind of the maximum feed rate you should go when probing. Uh, and the height I've set this at is to allow for a 2 inch uh, stick out to be changed and not be a problem getting the bit out. So it's done its first probe. It's now saying to change a tool, attach probe, click continue. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just set you down for a minute here while I change out the tool. Hopefully my measuring tape isn't in frame. Okay, so the tool's changed. As you can see, it's just a little V-bit with a lot less stick out. Uh, magnets on, so I'm going to go ahead and hit click or hit continue. It's going to seek down again. Uh, again, it's pretty slow, but uh, there's not much you can really do about it. I suppose you could modify it to drop down a bit lower, but uh, this is kind of to make sure it's universal and will work for all applications without uh, binding up your bit at the bottom. So let's probe that off again, and uh, now we've got a dialog box saying remove magnet in capitals with exclamation points because uh, you may have noticed my wiring isn't factory for my probe anymore because I forgot to put this uh, bit of code in before the initial test and shredded my magnet. Anyway, it's back together and working for now, so good enough. I'll have to get Jen on it and order a new one, I guess, or Charlie, I'm not sure where to go for that. Okay, so we're going to hit continue, and uh, we should get the rest of this cut done with the new bit, as anticipated. Again, this is just in the, uh, the regular software to click continue and spindles up to speed. And there you have it. Uh, bit setter tool change. Um, I'll post up the code I've entered for the tool change on this and uh, feel free to give it a whirl. Uh, obviously I'm going to put it at your own risk, uh, but all the testing I've done it's worked as expected. Uh, with the exception of once in a while the probe gets stuck, so to speak, after it touches down on the plate it doesn't lift up. Uh, but I've had that happen even when probing off the controller, so I think it's more of a controller issue. Um, you know, maybe the controller needs a reset once in a while, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, any questions, feel free to shoot me a message, and hopefully this helps out some people that uh, were asking about a bit setter. Uh, obviously you could use a dedicated bit setter and uh, sink it into the board, your waste board, wherever you like. Uh, I may cut a little shallow engraving there just to set the thing in in the corner, but uh, 
it doesn't really matter. That height is irrelevant. It's just taking a difference between the two measurements. So that bit setter could be sitting on a, a piece of three quarter inch MDF for all that matters. It makes no difference in how the code works and how it's programmed. Good luck.